and thank you for joining us for our presentation by Green Monkey Creative for the social media and your brand. I'm Julie, you can't see me, but I'm here. Um, I'm the managing director and partner at Green Monkey Creative. What is a brand? Well, a brand is a personality of your business. A brand is the way a company, organization, or individual is perceived by those who experience it. More than simply a name, term, design, or symbol, a brand is the recognizable feeling a, bro a product or business evokes. What is it you want people to know, loud and clear, about what you are selling or offering? How will your business stand out? Using social media is a great way to share your brand's mission and share stories. Effective stories can have an impact on your brand's image. How are you going to define your brand? Your voice will be the one thing people connect to, and your voice includes your overall image, what you talk about, the tone, what your audience connects about you specifically. And please, it isn't always about the number of followers as your win. Focus on whether you're keeping followers or just replacing them with new ones. People should be able to recognize your company. You have a personality, you have a mission, and you have a logo. It's the combination of those things that are going to make it memorable. Sixty percent of people are more likely to buy from a brand that they follow on social. That's huge. The number of social users willing to buy from you skyrockets if you use social media not just for publishing, but for actually engaging with your social media audience. Your product or service should speak to your audience as an individual, not as part of the market. You need to build meaningful connections and what better way than to tap into your customers through social. Brand recognition. We've all seen it. We all have seen lots of logos where we can connect to without them saying very much. So gaining brand recognition is one of any business's most important marketing goals. That's because consumers want to buy brands they recognize. Social media allows for easy and effective brand building. And social media has a benefit over traditional media because it can get your brand in front of people much more quickly and easily. Furthermore, it gets your audience looking at your brand even when they aren't thinking about your brand or product. Tip, pay attention to your profile and cover photos. A great way to create brand recognition is to place your logo, logo often yet strategically. You want to make sure that it's not overwhelming or distracting. Don't forget your local business awareness. Are customers in your area even aware you exist? There's a lot of noise out there. And if you're a brand new company or a company that has been around for many years, it's important to ensure you have local business awareness. Make sure you run local business awareness ads on social media on a regular basis. Also, Facebook won't share your content organically when you have under 500 followers. And this is a great way to start to build your community. Spending as little as $30 a month can help grow your business and create awareness. And don't forget to invite all your friends from your personal page to your business so that they're well aware what you're doing. What makes you so different? You sell services and products just like everyone else in your category. How are you going to stand out? How are you going to talk about your business? What makes you so unique that people will do business with you rather than someone else? Define your message. What is it? The first step in creating your social media brand voice begins by defining your core message. What problems do you solve and what's unique about your brand? What do you do different? Will you approach your audience by being better than your competitors or being more unique? What is your stance on social causes? Do you want to be that part of your brand or do you not? We've all seen with some very strong messaging about some political stances, stances lately, like Black Lives Matter, uh, defund the police. There's a lot of those things happening. Do you participate or do you not? Social media style guide is very important if you're not the only one posting on social media, but it is also important for you to put some guidelines so that you stick to it. 
After you've determined your primary brand messaging, you need to create your brand style guide. This will set the tone of communication for your entire team. Things to consider, consistent grammar, terminology, and spelling that will be used. Formatting of posts, like the number of hashtags, what those hashtags are, and how you respond to negative posts or customer complaints, or how you engage, and your tone. Are you going to be funny, or are you going to be serious? And it really all depends on the level of services and products that you're um, selling. Don't take your audience's time for granted. No one needs to see you post three times a week or seven times a week unless it's relevant to a campaign. You can easily turn off your audience who have chosen to follow you by posting too many promotions, getting too political. Remember your audience is there for your brand, not for your opinion. Using slang or jargon, not having any personality, bad grammar and spelling mistakes, trying to be funny when you're not, and not replying to their messages. Remember, it's a back and forth communication on social media. And if you're constantly filling up someone's uh, Facebook feed or you're doing a 30 page story on Instagram and you're taking up their time to get through it, they're going to become disengaged. Customer service, this is huge. And we explain this to our clients all the time that um, Facebook and Instagram and Twitter, people are expecting that you're going to be customer service. It's an extension of your customer service. They want their requests handled through social media. A strong investment in customer services can build a meaningful relationship between your company and your customers. And with social media, the challenge of customer service remains demanding as it before. One of the tips that we suggest is you set up instant messaging to handle the volume of messaging with auto responders. This does not replace a real interaction, but does buy you some time. You can also set up most asked questions. Are you open? Is this product available? Continuous questions that are always asked can be answered quite quickly through the instant messenger. So how do you help your brand stand out? You stick to one message. Pick one message. Make sure your brand's message is known and understood by the people working in your organization. Don't confuse your audience with mixed messages. Ensure your messages are consistent across all marketing campaigns. Even though each channel has a different personality, it's important that you deliver consistent profile messaging across the web. And sometimes people say that you should post different on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, for example. That may be the case, because uh, Twitter is a little bit smaller snippets of information. But in most cases for small business, what you post on Facebook and Instagram can be the same and even Twitter. If you're posting on LinkedIn, it might be a little bit different messaging. The most thing to stand out is people should be able to recognize your company not only by its logo, but also by its personality and mission. So make sure your posts are personable, because in in addition to pushing your products and services, you need to include the importance of community and softer side of your business. It is not always about sales. So speak your followers language and connect with them on a personal level. These provide an opportunity to show off your brand voice while giving followers a break from being sold to. Those quotes that everybody responds to, throw those in a couple times, some tips, um, something funny, really to break it up. This number is alarming to me. 50% uh, of small business aren't using social media to promote their business. That blows my mind a little bit. Social media marketing requires both strategy and creativity, but not everybody's aware of the benefits of social media marketing, or they don't know where to start. But even more concerning is that 25% don't plan to use social media in the future either. This is the instant way for you to get your messaging out. It is a very direct, targeted way, and if it's done right, it can really benefit your business. How will social media marketing help you build your business? Well, social media can help you build by growing brand awareness. Social media marketing will help it, will make it easy to spread the word about your products and mission. Increasing your traffic. Using social media and linking it to your website will increase your traffic tremendously. So if you have an event going on, you post about it, the link to sign up is on your website, you're driving them to your website to sign up for it. You want to promote your products and services. This is ultimately why you invest in your marketing. 
What is your strategy? Write relevant posts. Write posts that customers want to respond to and want to engage. Fall is here. Look at the latest trends. Look what we have in stock. Get people engaged. Get the conversation started with relevant and personalized and something a majority of your customers would enjoy discussing. Keep the conversation going and interact with responses. Post pictures. Your business should be showcasing the work that it has most been proud of. Pictures are more engaging than text-only posts. In fact, 120% more. Using your own photos can provide an outlet to show what you can do. Treat your social media as a mini website that you're updating. You know that blog that you really don't have time to do? This is the way that you can get around that and communicate to your audience. When the customers arrive to all your platforms, they should be able to find out everything about you, whether they're going to your Instagram to find you, whether they're going to their Facebook to find you, whether they're going to your Twitter to find you, whether they're going just to your website, they should be able to be directly linked back. So it's back and forth. Make sure everything is optimized with as much information as possible, the same information. So make sure that all your information, even on your Google My Business, is correct. Chances are people are visiting you regularly through social versus your website. Engage customers through contests. People love free stuff. I can't enforce this enough. Whether it's a $50 gift card to your business or a discount on products or partner with another business and, and, and cross promote each other. Customers will love the ease of being able to enter and receive a promotion through social media. Get the excitement going. A like, share, and win. Hashtags. These are crucial for any business. You can follow based on hashtags. So if you are not using the right ones, you may be missing an opportunity. And you should be, if you're using a hashtag, say hashtag social media, for example, you should be following that hashtag to see if there's any new trends or what else someone else is talking about. This is a great way to build your company's brands using hashtags. Boost a marketing campaign. So if you've got a marketing campaign that, you know, fall is, hashtag fall is great, you've created that then people may follow that. You can follow it and see if anyone's talking about it. It's a powerful tool to connect like-minded individuals through social media. It also gives you the opportunity to follow the same hashtags so you get to listen. Ensure your hashtag, your company name, location, city, province, etc., and relevant words relating to the post. So if you're going to do, you know, five hashtags, then make sure one of them is your company name, one of them is your location. So if you're in Toronto or GTA, maybe an area of service, and then two more about what you're actually posting about. Using hashtags are free, so why wouldn't you want to use it? Especially they're considering tweets that include one to two hashtags are 55% more likely to get retweeted. So why not give yourself that advantage? Engage when your audience, when they comment on your social media messages. You can't just put it out there and not respond. You have to interact. There's, they're looking to connect to you, and this is a perfect platform to do it. Make sure they feel there's a person behind the brand. Ensuring that they don't feel like they're talking to a robot will give them a better perception of your company and make them feel more like a valued customer. Focus on sharing content that naturally creates conversation. Some of the great ways are give shout outs to other companies you network with or do business with. Maybe a new business opened up next door. Maybe a new cafe that you and your team go to. You want to promote these things. Solicit feedback about your products. Ask open-ended questions and let the audience reply to get them actively involved. Like back to school or um, general topics. It doesn't always have to be related to your business. Um, if, if you're talking about, you know, what hair products do you use? Or what problems do you have with your hair? Or did you make any changes? And get people to really interact. Marketing your brand on social media really allows you to have some creative freedom. Not only are brands encouraged to showcase eye-popping visuals, but also speak to their followers in a unique brand voice that feels anything but suit and tie. Beauty brands especially have this advantage. They are thriving on social media as so they aren't the ones blindly blasting deals and bland product photos. They are showcasing before and afters and pictures of their clients that they're posting to-dos. There's lots of things that you can do. We've all seen those how-tos when it comes to cooking, crafts, and beauties. And most beauty content and social media is undoubtedly product-centric, but what keeps this from being excessive or off-putting is the way you add value for your audience. Educate your followers via how-tos and tutorials. Such how-tos provide an engaging medium to show off your services and products in action. It also allows your fans to see you and your work. It's like your own little commercial. 
Often your followers are your best billboards. This is the bread and butter of social media and especially the beauty industry. Encouraging your followers to tag themselves in photos not only serves as social proof, but creates a steady stream of organic ads to seal the deal with new customers or visitors. Thank you so much. And I didn't want to take up too much of your time, but we have three other great presentations that link everything together and can help you figure out how to mitigate social media. If you'd like to reach out to us, here's our contact information and we'd be happy to answer any questions that you do have. Thank you so much for having us and we'll see you soon.